Like, dude, I thought you reacted to some of them. Not necessarily like how um, it's like influential. It was that dude. Well, it was like, hold on, let me go to your your not Bob the Lamb channel real quick. Was it like Did a Ken Carson to- one? Yeah, yeah, it was like a the King failed Carson one. thing. Like that was a clickbait yeah, as fuck. It made, that video made no shit. I was like, what is he talking about? He he like, said that he, he Ken Carson was a failing artist, and then he was dick rotting him the entire time. Yeah, I don't know, dude. Fucking Sometimes crazy. As creators, like as creators, like you get you Wrapped get an idea, the... like a vague concept for a video. What'd you say? No, nah, go ahead. I get what you're saying now. You get like a, a vague concept or idea for a topic, but you want to get it out so fast you don't really flesh it out. So sometimes it just kind of sounds like you're just you're just rambling for a little bit. You're just saying shit. Right. And also you you come up with a title and then like the argument just misconstrues somewhere to somewhere yeah. else. I, that's definitely but there's tons not even videos there's just tons of like posts and like like takes in general that are like that where it's just like a like i get so many comments and like dms that are like um it's not even the people that disagree with me or like people that are like oh this sucks or blah 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 it's the people who agree with the idea i have and then they just like lose me because they type these paragraphs about like how underground rap is dead and the music genre uh the music scene mind me is like oh it's so unoriginal and they just like ramble for like 50 sentences and it never makes sense well because people, like people want to hear they they want to hear what they like they hear you only what they want to hear if that makes sense as yeah, in i feel like more um you said something and what video was it it was like um I don't even know if it was in a specific video. It might have been like on stream and you just never got it, but it was like, um, there were specific opinions that people just repeat because they think it sounds right. That's what you said, something along those lines. Like the whole, like, I'm sure you get a bunch of people saying like, the underground is dead and like, it's so unoriginal. And it's just like, they never explain how, like they just kind of say it and people would just like agree. Like just go, yep. Yep, you're oh, right. Oh, um, what was I talking about? Um, little baby. Cause, cause like there, when a narrative says like little baby is hard, and you see other people listening to it, it has hella streams. Like you're at, at human nature, we're very packed oriented. So we'll start just to yeah. fit in, like start believing something that we have no idea why. That's what it was, yeah. I'm pretty sure. But yeah. I think it was even before that video, but yeah, I definitely agree. Saying. I think that's why um, artists invest like a lot into PR and like, specific, not even just PR, because everyone does PR, like athletes, everybody. But specifically with like labels and rappers, they invest a lot into like media pages. So, bro, the like, marketing uh, budget is fucking huge. Yeah. Like, cause you don't even need recording budgets anymore. You can just do it at home. Yeah. So, so the marketing, like shit, I know people who aren't even that big and they got like over a hundred K marketing budget. Yet, it is weird. But th- uh, that's because on social media, marketing is literally the most important thing. Cause think about how many artists who are low key trash, but still popping just yeah. because the narr- like the they they posted on the right media pages like they the posted right the right and the right like pose right dance or whatever right viral. exactly which uh, imagine how like you would feel as like a smaller more like really really underground artist that gets like maybe like 5k or 10k plays on a song max on soundcloud and you're technically doing all the stuff that people say like oh make sure you like post a lot make sure you're consistent with music develop like your aesthetic find your sound and you're doing all the right things and you're like paying for promo and stuff and it's just not working (laughs) and then you see like like osama son blow up on twitter because people think he sounds like ken carson like you know it's just kind of weird i would feel like discouraged as an artist i feel like a lot of it is kind of some of it is in your control 
and a lot of it is is really not and you know as an artist that can kind of mess with your head well i think that's why where uh working smart and not hard comes into play and i think yeah. working hard is super important but like if you know how to get people's attention and maybe Osamason like literally had no idea what he was doing. Like maybe maybe he was just doing like he likes Cardi, he made that cover, and then maybe he just makes Ken Carson type music. But if you know how to like create the narrative of this comparison to Ken Carson and Cardi, and then eventually sprout off into your own thing, like Koshi's kind of did, like that's I, I think that's where they kind of separate themselves from the people who are actually grinding every day. Yeah. I think a lot, some of it is kind of the, well, most of it is these artists' fault because there's plenty of like resources and information on how to like, you know, set up a promotion campaign for yourself. You can kind of blend, because I, um, on that Osamazon video I did, I did a short too, like to accompany the video and it got like 20K on YouTube. And there was like a comment, there was a few comments that was like, it was just do which is red. And he was like, I've been making music for five years and these guys are blowing up by copying King Carson. How come I haven't made it? And I'm like, at some point you kind of have to reflect. Maybe it's your fault. Like maybe it's not that they can be, maybe your music is just trash. You know, like maybe he doesn't make good music. Or maybe he just d has no idea on how to promote himself. And at that point, you got to just like, you know, shut up and do it. You got to just like learn. Just learn as much as you can and apply it. I agree. <laughs> yeah, a lot of right, people yeah. just be, they, they almost, what's it called? They sabotage themselves by... Yeah, it's like um. Like just like, being in uh, our call it self-limiting beliefs almost but it's like to the max like a normal like a normal self-limiting belief would be like you know how we get like thoughts like oh i'm not gonna be able to do that or oh it's too much for me i'm never gonna make it it's like i feel like now like in modern times i don't know how you feel about this it's like they dial it up to a thousand like their whole self-worth is just like non-existent so it's no longer just, oh, I'm not good enough. It's like, oh, my life sucks so bad <laughs> to the point where I'm gonna like last out on like random comment sections and just like, you know, like, do you not get that? Like that vibe from people nowadays? Bro, like, they just taking it even... way too far. Yes, I agree. And that's why I stopped listening to emo rap. Cause I was like, this shit is making me want to be <laughs> sad, literally. Uh. And then yeah, it, does. it literally does, dude. It, it, it like, makes you feel good to be sad. Yeah, it romanticizes it. Yeah. And then, just social media, like you, you see all the posts about like, haha, I want to kill myself. It's like, whoa, like dude, why like is this funny? There's like a weird um, I'm not even talking about like the Adam Twenty Two thing because that's its own conversation. Dude, I don't know if you like if you're like tuned into like the the TikTok metas, but there's like this weird meta where like men will like make videos imagining like their girlfriend like cucking them, like their girlfriend cheating on them, and then they'll get sad like in the video. Like that shit is weird. That Boy, is so weird hold to up. me. Why are you? How did how did you end up in this part of TikTok? <laughs> um, you remember when <laughs> Andrew Tate was like blowing up? Uh, like. It, a year and a half ago yeah and they would do like the little edits yeah. it's like that and it would sort okay. of i guess they're trying to be like motivational oh like getting cucked and then how angry you get so like i'm gonna yeah, become the best like, man yeah, ever kind of weird i don't know why this is kind of weird yeah i i just think social media made it cool to like be depressed um yeah how well, do we get there how do, how do how do we get to this point I don't even know about rappers being uh, sad. Yeah, they, rappers. Oh, okay. rappers who complain about not getting attention. Oh, and then the comment section. Oh, yeah. I just, I just think a lot of the people who do that are like NPC. Like I, I one of my biggest. It's not a fear, but like even 
the problems that I have with my girlfriend, I'm like, anytime you want to like get all stressful and like, you know, you know, girls, they start getting bitchy or whatever. I'm like, I don't even want to deal with that. Like I do not, I hate bad vibes. I will literally leave the situation. So I don't read my own hate comments. I don't read other people's hate comments. It's just, it just doesn't make me feel good. I think that's a healthy lifestyle to avoid. Would you I agree? I think that's a, gen- like, that's a genuine way to like deal with that too. Like, yeah. And people, people think I'm coping when I tell other creators, I'm like, dude, I don't care if I'm coping. Like I think it's working well. No, you know what? It, I, outside of this, I did kind of realize like, Cause I would be reading like a bunch of comments where it would be like, Oh my God, save the world. I agree 100%. I love your channel, blah, 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 blah. And then I would read like a comment that wasn't even like, it would, it wouldn't even be like a, a serious thing. It would just be like, Oh my God, you don't know what you're talking about. This channel is stupid. And then I would just like in that, in that energy. It like takes you farther down like, than what like the positive comment got you. Right? Yeah. Yeah. And so. then like, I, I kind of have to think like in the real world i'm not save the world one like this is just like you know a little panel slash well see in real panel. life i am bobby lamb my name is bobby <laughs> lamb so i can't i can't it, leave it. yeah it's kind of different for me though it's like, <laughs> but yeah as a creator people kind of underestimate like how impactful those type of comments are because even if they're not directed towards you it gets annoying like be honest if for anybody in here that makes content or music it gets annoying when people just like bandwagon something or they'll just like bandwagon like hating on a specific video of yours and you just constantly see like oh this sucks blah blah blah, blah. I but, think I'm... sorry go ahead you know you just gotta brush it off you gotta brush it off 